Deputy Senator Colby to go to the ground, he owned the mineral rights. And he sets in motion this huge fortune, because the mine has got to live somewhere. So thousands of houses are built on new land. Huh, more ground there. Phenomenal, phenomenal operation is intact. Because then a railway is built across the field and down from the valleys to the north, or the coal, and onto Cardiff Docks and around the world. Massive fortune. And the beneficiary, this man. Third Marcus of Butte. He happened to be six months old when his father died. He wouldn't have known him. So he, the money was kept in trust until he was 21. And then he simply becomes the richest man in Victorian Britain as a result. Phenomenal, phenomenal wealth. John's problem, however, was his health. Because in later life he developed what was called Bright's disease. Now Bright's was an incurable kidney problem. It caused swelling of the body, making him this big man. So we're always sceptical about the bedroom upstairs. But also, it brought on high blood pressure and heart disease. And stroke and heart attack then were fatal. It caused his death in 1900 when he was still only 53 years old. That's all he was. So that was when he was mayor, 1890 to 1891. So that's about just about 10 years before his death. He was actually paint, painted by Herbert Honecker in 1892. So that's eight years before he died. This man here is Lord Lydian. You saw him in the nursery photograph, the boy on the right. Of course, we see him as an army man. But then he left the army when he got married. He became a very, very popular member of parliament. But in the year of 1910, local football team, Cardiff City, turned professional. Negotiating with a corporation to release land on which they could build the football ground, and also he guaranteed the payment of the ground, and the football ground was named Lillian Park after him. And it stood for 99 years, and then finally demolished by 2009, having been replaced by a new stadium where there is still a Lillian stand inside. So his name lives on, thankfully, because in his own lifetime walk in. Lillian had returned to the army and he was sent to France where, at the Battle of Luce in 1915, Lillian was shot in the head and he died instantly. 32 years old, that's what he was. That is Lord Long Stewart, that is the 5th Marcus of Butte. Now, at the end of the Second World War, the Labour government came into power and they nationalised the coal field. Taking it back to government ownership, the Butte family were paid off. So they lost their self wills income. And then in 1947, his father died. So it leaves this man with a dilemma. Living at Mount Stewart's house on the Isle of Butte, he doesn't need Cardiff Castle on its ground. And so he decides to give it back to the people of Cardiff. And he gave it away as a gift. And he moved out completely, taking with him what could easily be removed. So this goes. The art from next door went, the book collection went, the banqueting hall furniture went as well. All went back to Mount Stewart. Fish in the library. Yeah. 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 Yeah.